President Trump announced that he will be pardoning Dinesh D'Souza. And guess what? Liberals are freaking out. In a perverted way, these are very creative trolls, these pardons. Dinesh D'Souza, I think he's best described as a sort of conservative provocateur convicted of federal campaign finance fraud. Look, there are lots of miscarriages of justice in this country. Mm -hmm. It seems hard to believe that so many of them would involve members of his political base. What's his game here? Who's he, who's he sending this message to? You would think that liberals would be happy that the president pardoned another brown immigrant man that was harshly and overly prosecuted for his nonviolent crime. But no, they are selectively outraged that the president pardoned Dinesh D'Souza because Dinesh D'Souza is a conservative. conservative. Many know Dinesh D'Souza as a documentarian, an author, a father and a husband, and somebody who is an outspoken conservative political commentator. Dinesh D'Souza's attorney said that he was selectively targeted for felony prosecution because of his outspoken, vigorous, and politically controversial criticism and condemnation of President Obama and his administration. His case was essentially a wobbler that was enhanced into felony prosecution. Most people who commit the same non-violent crime don't experience such harsh penalties as Dinesh D'Souza did. For example, where was the outrage when Rosie O'Donnell, who committed several of the same campaign violations that Dinesh D'Souza did, wasn't charged? When Rosie O'Donnell was caught committing her campaign violations, she said, Oh, I just didn't know. I figured that when I sent too much money, that they would just send the extra amount back to me. Really? That's why you use several different New York addresses and several different variations of the spelling of your name. You had no idea, and you figured that they would just send the money back to you that they couldn't keep. And you know what? That's exactly what they did end up doing. Imagine a bank robber getting the charges let off for returning the money. And did I mention she committed the same violations several times? Where was the outrage when President Obama pardoned terrorist Oscar Lopez Rivera? Oh wait, he was a communist. Notice that Wikipedia has to display that Dinesh D'Souza is a convicted felon. And by the way, all Trump's pardon of Dinesh D'Souza is doing is essentially taking away Dinesh D'Souza's probation. So I wonder if Wikipedia is going to redact their Wikipedia page on Dinesh D'Souza to now remove the part that says that he's a convicted felon. I'm not going to hold my breath. Dinesh D'Souza is the brown guy all brown people don't want to be associated with. Hashtag Dinesh D'Souza. The heck is this? Everyone you pardon will be treated as the viper they are. Everywhere they go, they will be publicly shamed as pariahs. Your pardons will end up making their lives miserable. Everything, Everything you touch dies. dies. Hashtag Dinesh D'Souza. <laughs> Trump would pardon Joseph Goebbels, but he's not an American citizen. Hashtag Dinesh D'Souza. Ooh. Dinesh D'Souza. A foreigner that came to our land and ended up doing enough bad things without fame to get arrested and jailed. Sounds like an MS-13 gang member got pardoned today. You can't compare Dinesh D'Souza to MS-13. Nice try, but no. A full pardon to a felon who committed voter fraud? Huh. He didn't commit voter fraud. He committed campaign finance fraud. There's a little bit of a difference. See, if he were out there committing voter fraud, he would probably be a Democrat. It's gonna be awkward when they have a reverse pardons and judge appointments after low-level Russian mobster, elderly coke addict on government assistance, money launderer, human sex trafficker, and rapist Donald Trump's been thrown in prison. Hashtag Trump tapes. Hashtag Trump Russia. Hashtag Dinesh D'Souza. Quickest way for non-whites to align themselves with white supremacy is to be anti-black. Thus, Dinesh D'Souza. This American sh 
is some soulless <laughs> predictable anti-intellectual I think someone who uses sh as every other word in their sentence is the poster child for anti-intellectual. Just this second while you were talking about the president and his demand of an apology and his sense of victimhood, he has just tweeted he is going to grant a full pardon to Dinesh D'Souza, who's the conservative writer. Uh that is why President Trump pardoned Dinesh D'Souza, because they were unfair to him and he had an unjust prosecution.